Hello Glamour Cools and welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Midge Munster and on this channel we do all things campy, kooky, glamorous, and spooky. And you might be thinking to yourself, Midge, why are you sitting on your fireplace? <laughs> well, let me tell you. Uh, if you've been following along on the Instagram saga, you will know that for some reason, this is the video that doesn't want to be made. <laughs> I've been trying to film this video now for going on a week and a half and I finally finished filming it about an hour ago and this happened. No audio. <laughs> At this point, I can't even begin to guess why the universe is doing this, but I figured I would just go with it and try to make light of it and make a joke about it because every content creator has gone through this at some point. However, I did want to film an intro and at least do the time lapse for you because I actually really did like the results of this project. But uh, anyway, I'm going to do a very diet version of the intro that I originally filmed. Originally, I was a lot more dressed up. <laughs> I had uh, on some ghost earrings for Halloween and this sweatshirt, which is from Krypton Coffin. I wanted to mention them because this is a brand I just found. I didn't know that she existed. It's a small shop and I bought a whole bunch of Halloween stuff for her shop and I really love it. Actually, let me go get my cup. I got this little cup as well with ghost face that says call me. But I wanted to give her shop a shout out. I do think this is sold out at this point, but y'all should definitely go give her a follow if you don't already really cute designs and I'm definitely going to be a repeat customer. But yeah, I had on my little Halloween outfit, I had on my pink jack lantern shoes from Strange Cult, which are so cute. Uh, but now I am in sweatpants because I was trying to edit. <laughs> but what I wanted to do for today's video was just something very simple because I had this big elaborate Halloween celebration planned for the channel and it just didn't work out that way. So I edited it down and I'm keeping it very simple and I'm going to show you a time lapse of the Halloween display I did on my fireplace mantle. I've had this theme planned since December and actually one of you guessed it when I posted back in January my Halloween hunting uh, at Michael's. I grabbed a couple of those ghosts and <laughs> said that I was going to use them for Halloween and somebody guessed that the theme of my Halloween display was will you be my boo and you were right uh, technically it was you'll always be my boo the star when we were younger you were mine but same thing i wanted to do something fun with pinks and reds but also ghosts because i love ghosts so i'm gonna go ahead and throw it over to the time lapse footage and voiceover and walk you through what we did there so starting out i got a couple of cute little valentine's day decorations uh, on clearance at michael's and i started with this little heart wreath that i <laughs> took a couple of tries to get it centered on the wall but we got there uh, I wanted to make sure that I had a couple of very specifically Valentine's pieces uh, in this display so that it wasn't like, you know, just a cute ghost display. I wanted it to look like Halloween. So I also got this little felt ball pom-pom type garland. Um, I actually have one of these for Halloween as well that's orange and black. So I really liked this and just swagged it across the fireplace. Then I added in the little Michael's ghosts, if you remember these from the January decor hunt video. Uh, I just painted the inside of their mouths red with paint and then blacked out that little eye holes with a uh, Sharpie. It was really cheap and simple little craft and I think they turned out really, really cute. And then I'm just adding this heart felt garland that I got at Target. I ended up spreading those ghosts out just a little bit further so that the garland was above the other one and uh, centered in the mantle there. Then I'm getting out these Be My Boo cutouts. I actually just made these on Canva and then printed them out on nice paper and cut them out. Um, I start by framing the wreath with the Be My and then put the Boo under the wreath but I was worried that this was going to get lost being low like that, and that you wouldn't see it. So I pulled out my little stepladder and switched it up a bit. I put the bee my up high, and then I actually decided to try the boo on the wreath, and I futz with it here for a few minutes and drop it a couple more times than I would like to admit. <laughs> 
but eventually I get it to stick and I liked the way that looked. So I then pulled out these little valentines and these are so cute. I got these from an Etsy shop and you can just download them and print them out yourself. I will definitely link her in the description box below because these are precious. So I started kind of spacing these out, figuring out where I wanted to put these on the wall. Um, but then I decided to, I wanted to make sure that you could see them behind the other stuff I was putting out. So I grabbed these little neon ghosts that I got off of Amazon. And as you can see, they light up pink. These are so cute and they were really inexpensive. I grabbed two of them and I, I wanted something that would add like light or dimension, just make a little more interest uh, in this display. So I, I'm really glad I grabbed these. I think they kind of tie the whole thing together. They remind me of those ones that Target used to do in the dollar spot. There I am dropping my garland again. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I finished kind of framing the wreath with these valentines. But when I did, I realized that I didn't like the way that the B and my up high like that kind of made a circle around the wreath. So I decided to move them again and I ended up just deciding to put all the words on the wreath. And uh, it took me a minute to kind of figure out how to do this and why I did it all on the ladder and didn't just take it down and work on it. I will never know, but uh, I ended up finally getting them where I wanted them. And I, I was really happy with the way this turned out. I think it looks kind of fun and almost a little 60s-ish for some reason. I don't know. It just it turned out really cute to me. So then I just started messing with a couple other small things. I pulled out this ghost from At Home, which some of you guys might recognize from Decor Hunting last year. And I got out like this ghoul friend candle from Bath and Body and this pink zombie hand from Sinister Signs. I uh, put the candle in the ghost mouth, tried a few different things, but overall I just thought it was too much. And so I was trying to figure out how to center this ghost and balance it out. And I ended up just splitting center with him and this other little Valentine. And it worked out perfectly because their eyes are kind of looking at each other. I'll, I'll show you later. I also tried putting some fairy lights in the ghost's mouths, but I, I didn't really care for that. Just, again, thought it was more than I needed. So I decided that this was the finished display. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think it's super cute. It's definitely Valentine's, but definitely spooky still. I couldn't be happier with the fact that like this whole display, I think, cost me less than $30, less than $25 maybe even. And I don't know about you, but like I'm not one to decorate heavily for Valentine's Day, so I didn't want to spend a ton of money, and I'm glad that I was able to kind of repurpose some stuff and craft some things, and this just turned out really fun, and I've never decorated for Halloween before, but I definitely will now in the future. This was super cute and fun. These Valentines are adorable. Um, again, I'll be sure to link her shop in the description. She has a lot of vintage spooky valentines, not just ghost ones, so be sure to check that out. Uh, here you can see the ghost and the valentine looking at each other. Isn't that perfect? I couldn't believe how well that turned out with their eye line. Uh, there's the finished Michael's ghosts, which I think turned out really cute. And here is the whole product. I did take a couple quick shots here at, well, not at night, but in a dimmer light so you can see those neon pink ghosts in action. I think these are super fun too. I will link the Amazon link below. Uh, because they're pink, you could totally use these year round as well. And here's one final look at this display. I love how it turned out and I really hope y'all do too. And that is it for my Halloween display. So I really hope that you all enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit of a mess, but I'm excited I got to still share it with you before Valentine's Day. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and drop me a comment and let me know if you decorated for Halloween. I'd love to know what your theme was. And of course, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel before you leave today. I put out a new video every week and we would love to have you be a part of our Glamour Ghoul gang. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful Halloween. And until next time, keep it campy, kooky, glamorous, and spooky. Bye. Come out to socialize.